Just a friendly reminder that the opinions expressed on this show are not worth a Canadian penny, so disregard anything you hear that might get anyone in trouble. And despite some of the great ideas you may hear, don't try them at home. Go to friend's house instead. It's time to get a gun. That's what I've been thinking. Well, I could afford one. If I did just a little less drinking, time to put something between me and the sun. When the talking is over, it's time to get a gun. Welcome to Slamfire Radio, episode 541 uh, for January 24th, 2024. I'm one of your hosts, Kelly. I'm Adriel. And I'm Mo. And Dave's not on tonight, but Kyle is on. He's a, he's I'm officially on he's assignment. on assignment. Yeah. That's yeah. An, and I, we're not lying to you. Our first ever appearance <laughs> at SHOT Show? No, he's been there before. We just never got No, um, as the show being there. No? Yeah, he was... He was there last year. As yeah, part of the show? Was he? I don't, I don't know. I don't no, remember I, that. I can't remember. I don't remember He's that. He's been either. there before. Mm. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I don't know anymore. My life, my years, my months, my weeks, my days are all running together. So you could tell me that it was 1982 yesterday, and I'd believe you. So, uh, why don't we get into what we did in guns this week? Because I know that uh, people are looking forward to hear what Adriel you've done. You've done a lot, right? I did some stuff, yeah. Okay, I did some stuff. Uh, what's the first stuff I did? Range visit. I did a range visit. Uh, we're you? on YouTube, so I won't pull any guns out. But uh, mm. I took the Savage three three four out, and okay. it prints groups like this. At 100. That's about half an MOA. Don't look at that one over there. That was something else. <laughs> half an MOA, though, uh, which, well, on at least on this target, it didn't do that for all the targets, but that's a pretty nice looking target at, at the very least. Uh, that was with a uh, federal gold medal match, which is some good ammo that usually gives me good results at 308s. And uh, yeah, gave me good results in this one. What else to take out? GSG 16? Yeah. Guess how many times it jammed? I'm going to say 47. None. Oh. Zero? Not once. Zero? Zero. Zero. Right, then. I have not oiled it. I took it from the factory. I loaded the mags and I started shooting with it. And it just. Yeah. You're doing something right with it then. Or wrong. 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 I think that's. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Not what they're supposed to do. But anyway, yeah, it was, it, it's a ton of fun. Just keep fire, keep firing, keep firing. But uh, yeah, it was good. Uh, took the Carcano out just to see if my epoxy front sight is correct. And, uh, yeah, it is. So I was making hits at uh, hundred meters with that thing. So I am going, I, I, I purposely left it a little bit low. You guys ready for some bullshit? You guys ready for some like sacrilegious Millsurp stuff? Sure. I'm going to okay. put a fiber optic rod and I'm going to glue it on top of my little epoxy front sight. So it has a fiber optic front sight. Wow. Really? On a 1902 rifle. Wow. Now, the epoxy can come off. If at any time I don't like it, I just hit it with a hammer and the epoxy shatters off and, you know, we're yeah. back to back to factory. Yeah, I'm Mike. Mike. I'm with Mike. All the PSG can do his jam. <laughs> well, this one was running good. Yeah. It's weird. It's a broken one, I guess. It Got one made on a Monday. It was a broken one. <laughs> it's so much it's so light so much fun you get nothing for a cheek weld with the wire like the telescoping stock on those things yeah. but it was so much fun i just got a red dot on it and one thing that shooting into snow made me realize is that red dot is super hella blue that's the bushnell trs 26 or something like that oh, oh it's so blue looking through that thing but uh yeah the red dot looked good uh mossberg 464 was going good until it wasn't anymore uh, everything was working good on it. And then about 10 rounds in, things stopped working on it. And it was because you guys won't believe this. What? It's missing a screw on the forend. There's like a barrel band on the forend and it's missing a screw from that. Doesn't seem like it would be important, right? That didn't seem like it to me. Uh, the forend shifted a little bit forward. The forend indexes the magazine tube at the back. 
So if the four ends uh, loose, the magazine too. So yeah. I got uh, misfeeds, and and the follower didn't want to go out. Uh, so that was one thing I found with it is uh, that can happen. And then the other thing I found is that the follower is slightly oversized for uh, for that magazine tube, and the spring sometimes can't overcome the pressure or the friction to push it all the way to the end. So I uh, chucked up the follower in my drill and uh, gave it a little touch up, just a little touch up to take down that uh, that extra room, and now it runs fantastic, nice. just in time for me to disable it so it'll never fire fire again. But uh, ah. Mm. It's it's now becoming a, a pal rifle, so no such else for that to ever again. But it shot well. I, I did like at at a hundred meters and did like a two inch group. It's fine. Minute a deer. Uh, I am going to be well, not going to be. I opened up uh, pal courses at Sherwood Park, uh, so we've got some events happening down there. Feb twenty four. Already got a bunch of registrations from members out there. Uh, March twenty third, April sixth, April twentieth. May 12th, June 22nd, July 20th, August 10th, September 7th, and October 12th. So that covers most of, like, remember I had set, set out, like, a goal for 2024 to do, like, 15 yeah. of these things? That covers most of them. Almost yeah. the way there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to do some custom ones in between. So if I get, if anyone gets enough uh, friends and family together for, you know, to to have me drive out, that's, uh, that's going to be an option, too. And that's probably something I'm going to do probably a long weekend, actually. And, uh, yeah, so I'm going to do some more of those things. Pretty wow. pumped seeing some people register in that kind of thing, registering for the, uh, for the course on the 24th. And I might, I might add an RPAL onto one of those two, uh, one of those things. Uh, one of the first calls I got was someone calling when up saying, Hey, the yeah. when are you going to do the RPAL? I was like, oh, God, I thought these had no demand, but he was saying like, he's for work. He's, he's got to, uh, get it for, for work. Right. So, ah, uh, Okay. Maybe people, are, maybe people are still interested in our pals. Yeah. 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 If I can get enough people, I'll, I'll do them. I just mm-hmm. don't want to do it and have like two people show up and like, yeah, oh, man, no, exactly. I don't, yeah. Yeah. I don't want to, I don't want to have that happening. Uh, but yeah, so it's looking good. If anyone's curious about finding more information on those pal courses, I got a Facebook page, HGG firearms training, I think. Yeah. Seems yep. the easiest thing to do. <laughs> go over there take... and like it as well. Yeah. Because... Go and like it. I'm here in Ontario, and I've already liked it, but it is because the hunting gear guy sent it to, you know, everybody on Slimefire. I might have uh, asked for some favors. Called <laughs> favors <in. laughs> yeah, okay. no, it's good. It's I, I really appreciate the support. A lot, a lot of people supported and have already liked the Facebook page and, yeah. and that kind of thing, which is going to help it uh, help people find it and that kind of thing. So that should be good. Yeah. Good. Yeah, like and subscribe. Good. Isn't that what you say? Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. The other thing I've been doing, and I don't have it marked down here, is um, I got a buddy of mine in Calgary. Uh, Dave, he's been on the show before. Uh, yeah. He runs PAL courses in Calgary. He's got like a, a group of other instructors. And if any of them, you can do 12 with one instructor, but it's a pain in the ass. And you can't go above 12 with only one instructor, but you can add another instructor on. And now you can have more, oh, right? Yeah. He has a group of uh, other instructors, uh, like a group chat going on. And if he's got a course coming up, he's like, oh, this one I'm, it looks like I'm going to limit out. Is anyone available? And then if someone's available, he can go down and help out. And, of course, you know. I think that's a really good idea. Kind of yeah. Great yeah. idea, yeah. I want to do that for Edmonton. So I've been reaching out to some of the guys that I took the course with and some other guys that I know. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to build like a signal group to uh, to get that rolling so that we've got that, that group yeah. of instructors. Because... Nice. I think a lot of pal cor- uh, pal and our pal courses end up getting done like r- onesie twosie, like two, three, four people at a time, kind of a thing, and it's really inefficient. Uh, so I'd rather be doing like bigger, bigger classes, like eight, yep. 10, 12, 15, That kind of thing is mm-hmm. is totally doable if you have help, if you have support, right? It, the thing that like bottlenecks is uh, the testing, I feel like the, the yeah. practical testing. Oh, that's a bottleneck, mm. and the scoring is uh, is a bottleneck as well. The the marking and that kind of thing, and then the paperwork. Oh my god, yeah. But uh, if you got some friends to to help out with that kind of thing, it makes it a lot shorter. So hoping to get that going. And uh, my kid wanted to three D print some stuff to like to sell because because he was like. He was in 3D printing some stuff and like selling some stuff at school. And and he, and he was like, what about other things? And on one of the Discord servers that I was on, the Canadian firearms enthusiasts, there were some guys there. Uh, well, one guy who was showing his spread of like 
I don't know, fantasy stuff that he was selling at like a comic con or something like that. And that got me thinking like, I wonder if I did that at a gun show. Have you guys seen anything like that? Have you been at any gun shows recently where there's been like a table of 3d printed, like gun stuff? No, legal, no. legal 3d no. printed gun. No, stuff. <laughs> Let me preface that. that. <laughs> legal or illegal. No, I don't know if I need to add that in or not, but, uh, yes. Yes, you do. I think I do. I think I do. Yeah. Just in case. Just in case. Are you going to be getting a visit? Yeah. No, but uh, so I found some of the designs that uh, that I really liked and uh, and we've been cranking them out. So one of the ones that uh, we just done recently here, uh, it might actually be kind of hard to see. Let me just get the perimeter lights on. That'll help. Uh, You see that mag, this mag holder here. Uh, This one's for CZ. That one's for the Tokarev. And then I've got Glocks on the bottom there. Uh, so you've got options for different mag holders that'll hold like five mags on the wall, nice and tight. So, uh, building those, designing those, testing them to make sure that they're good. And, uh, yeah, I think, uh, we'll print a bunch of stuff up and try to make it out to, uh, maybe the Vegreville one, maybe the Calgary, big Calgary one coming up in April here and that kind of thing. And try to sell some, uh, some stuff and pitch my pal courses at the same time. Yeah, I think that you just did a great job of pitching the PAL courses on Slamfire Radio. <laughs> I'm going to keep doing that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I think they call it shilling, and I'm going to be doing it hard. Yeah, shill away. Shill, <laughs> shill often and shill hard. Yeah. Hey. Well, we talk about trying to get more people into the, the shooting sports, <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah. nothing <laughs> more is more direct as getting them into the, yeah, the licensing. Yeah. Everybody. Part. I'm having side yeah. conversations about people and their certifications here in the comments field, but. Uh, um, my kids also correct. Mike's on a roll tonight. He says nothing but old guns at gun shows and overpriced old guns at that. So okay, I'm gonna have way cooler stuff. Uh, I'm gonna have like 50 BMG cooler. bullets, mag help mag holders, die holders, a bunch of weird stuff that you can't get for <laughs> your Dylan presses. I'm gonna have those. I'm gonna have all sorts of uh weird and wonderful things that you can't get otherwise otherwhere, anywhere else. Otherwhere, otherwhere. That's a word. Look other wear sure. is not anywhere. Other wear is alternative wear. <laughs> alternative wear? Is that like alternative shareware? Alternative items. Shareware. Mm. No. That, mm. Hi. A bit old. There. Hi, Kyle. Kyle is joining us live. Yeah, I figured I'd stop in for a couple minutes here. Thank you. Just a couple minutes. How's uh, how's Vegas? How's the shot show going? Uh, my feet hate me. My shoulders are starting to hate me, but it, it, it's good. Obviously, I can't complain about being a shot show. <laughs> nice. What do you got? In, what do you got on your shoes? Uh, yesterday, I wore some five eleven shoes. They didn't work. Now I'm wearing some tactical boots. They didn't work. So I think tomorrow I'm wearing hey dudes. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna be some wearing loafers or just uh, get a pair of running some shoes. Running shoes, some slippers, yeah. something, yeah. some cushions. Well, the hey dudes are like slippers for outside. So <laughs> yeah. I like them, but I still don't. I still think that you should just get a pair of running shoes. Yeah, yeah. I didn't be, pack the best shoes. I thought they would be comfortable, but no. No, you're putting on about thirty thousand steps a day. Probably, probably, probably about twenty kilometers, twenty-five kilometers. Uh, well, yeah. the ballistically speaking, guys had a wrist thing, and they said they put on fourteen k. Yeah, I think yesterday I put on seventeen thousand. Yeah. So, no. yeah. Okay. Well, so. there's people asking if we're getting live shot show footage. Now we are getting. Sure. Absolutely. There's yeah. the, the, I'm on the media level right now. So there's your live shot, <laughs> shot show footage. <laughs> Zero people. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. It's the you. press room's down mm-hmm. there. So that's, it's nice, quiet place to go sit. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. I'm not going to go walk down on the floor right now. It, you wouldn't be able to hear me. I have it too noisy for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Not yeah. Too loud. But you are getting some information for us. So you're going to be on the show next week giving um yeah. all the shot show. Nice. Yeah. So yesterday I stayed basically on the main floor. I went checked out the Caesar Forum a little bit and lined up some interviews that I'm gonna be doing tomorrow. Today okay. I went to the lower level of the Venetian, which is uh I guess actually it felt like more of your typical trade show and a bunch of sm- like smaller stuff but there was actually some cool stuff i i didn't get as many interviews today as i thought i started off strong but didn't quite get, get so many so i think to, today's footage is going to be uh rolled in with tomorrow's so it'll be a little bit longer post tomorrow and 
Yeah, but yeah, met up with the ballistically speaking guys and doing the Canadian uh, reception tonight. So a bunch of other Canadians are going to be there. Cool. And yeah, I got some interviews lined up for tomorrow and they'll be, yeah, there's, it I'm is gonna, overwhelming. Like it, it is overwhelming as soon as I walked in the door, it was overwhelming. I'm going to ask if they're going to tell you, you can't go to the Canadian reception because you surrendered your card as soon as you crossed the border uh, last year. <laughs> <laughs> so the thing is, I already registered for it, so... <laughs> All right, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll, I'll bring my passport just in case. Just say A a couple of times. That You're should be right. yeah. Which I've actually started to hear. I've, I've started to hear the out. The out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We say it's not as strong as the oot, but it's, yeah, no, I'm starting to hear the Canadian out. <laughs> okay. The Canadianisms. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I've never noticed. We don't say boot. We don't. Well, okay. No, no I don't think so. I don't hear uh, it. <laughs> all right. So, um, yeah. Well, obviously this week uh, you've been doing SHOT Show, but anything else you did this week at all? Uh, well, we canceled our USPSA match because it was going to be 20 degrees Fahrenheit in the morning. And that was leading right up to this. And at their club meeting, made the decision that, no, we weren't going to have it. Mm. Which I was not hurt over that. I don't like shooting in the cold. And I had a lot to do to prepare to leave town. Mm. You've changed so much in a year. (laughs) (laughs) You've changed so much in a year. (laughs) (laughs) You got soft. (laughs) <laughs> no, I never liked shooting in the cold. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I never liked shooting the cold. So, okay. but I would say yes. I've got maybe a little softer because I'm acclimatized to 100 plus degree weather. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, the new camera setup is working good, so that will go good. further to more content on the range and whatnot. Um. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Shot show and a canceled match in a range meeting. <laughs> awesome. All right. Okay. Cool. Thanks for coming on. Give yeah. me an update. Yeah, yeah forward, no problem. I saw the time and complete. figured I could probably, the, the Wi-Fi here is much better than back at my hotel, so I figured I could jump on and say yeah. hi. Yeah. Nice. Awesome. Well, it's so exciting that you're able to be there and also to get some interviews for us and tell us yeah. all about everything that's coming out that's new and approved. That I will say next year we all need to be down here. Come down. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let's plan for it this time. Let's just yeah. Maybe a little bit early, a little bit earlier. I think we planned yeah. for it. You planned for it. Uh the rest of us, it was a it was a, a failure to plan. Eh. <laughs> and that's a plan to fail. Great yeah. failure. Yeah. Yeah, no, I think all of us as a crew need to come down to it. Okay. Okay. Awesome. All right. Next year, yeah. I do want to know if you had as much trouble getting there as as uh, Rooster did from Ballistically. No, because I drove. I know. You flew. <laughs> Ask him what it's like to leave a shell casing in his luggage or whatever. I forgot to actually mention life. that to him. Yeah. <laughs> Ask- Oh, speaking of Wi-Fi being great. <laughs> that's, the, that's the jinx always. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to jump off. So have a good show, guys. Thanks, and, Kyle. Uh, we'll Thanks, see Kyle. you guys next week. All, All right. right. Good trip. Right. Thanks. Bye. Thanks. Okay. So, Mo, do you want to go next? Uh, yes, I will. Uh, I was supposed to have a match in a Nipsic match in Sherbrooke, Quebec, uh, but I ended up I ended up canceling it or unregistering. Um, it was gonna be it was gonna be like a nine plus hour commitment, and I wasn't gonna be able to do that on on the Saturday that was coming up because uh, it's like two and a half hours there, two and a half hours back plus the match, and and who knows what the weather. Um, yeah, so I was disappointed not to go, but I, I just couldn't go. Um, I ended up registering for another match that's going to be this weekend. That's at my local range in Montreal. Uh, so I'm going to be going on the Friday to help with the build. Uh, but this time I'm actually going to shoot on the Saturday. So I'm not going to shoot the same night as the build. I find this just too much. Um, I got back my, 
Allosun 507C uh, from the warranty repair. So I had sent it in because it wasn't it wasn't working at all, and uh, it was an interesting experience. Overall, it was good. I mean, they I contacted them via email. They answered pretty quick. They had me fill out a simple form, sent it back. They sent me. They had me uh, ship it to them, which they provided the label, and uh, and then I didn't really hear anything. And all of a sudden, I got a, a Canada Post notice that it was that I was getting a package back, and it showed up a few days later, and uh, it was a brand new. It was a brand new one. So inside the package, it said replacement, and that was that. So I got a new one. I can't complain about that. No, you can't. Um, yeah. So no, I would just thought maybe I would hear something, whatever. But it's like, nope. <laughs> Here's a new one, and on your way, it just arrives. Yeah, it just like arrives, Harry, which is nice. It's just nice. Harry right? Potter, just magically. Oh, yeah. New, new dot. Yeah, so I guess it makes sense to them to just replace it. Um, that's it. I look forward to like trying it out again because it's been a while since I shot with a dot, and uh, yeah. I think it's going to help me for because my I mean my eyes are starting to fail more and more as the as the years pass. So I think I'm gonna I'm gonna need its assistance at some point. Um, yeah, and, and that's really that's really it. I've been checking out some of the stuff from Shot Show, including what what uh, Kyle. Kyle posted so yeah. so for anybody out there like check it out he's already put up a video and I think I'll probably put one on tomorrow yeah um That's yeah so it's saying. good it's good content right lots of exciting stuff mm. and uh that's really it for me how about you Kelly Okay. Well, it's been two weeks since I've been on. Uh, so I have done some things in the two weeks. I went to the range with some friends uh, last Sunday and we shot some Ipsic stages to practice it. Oh my God. It's been, it was a, yeah, a little rough. Uh, <laughs> first, uh, you know, <laughs> are you ready? <laughs> and I'm going, no, I don't remember what I'm supposed to do at all. Oh, really? I'm thinking this in my head because. I haven't shot in so long, so but no, it was just like riding a bike, got back on it, and and um, it was lots of fun. <clears throat> Excuse me, it was lots of fun. We are planning a, this Sunday again, um, so that we can just go out because I miss shooting, I miss shooting with friends. So we're gonna go do that. Brought out uh, one of our friends that uh, we shoot uh, skeet with really really good shooter but he does not shoot pistol so got him to try it out cool. um get him used to the club as well because he's on the wait list so hopefully we'll get in soon too for that but yeah he is goes, there a long wait for that club it's we're getting it down so i think we're about a year year and a half into it now it used to, it was much longer before but we've been running uh intakes about four or five a year now so we, we're trying to get it done so, which is excellent. Um, yeah, it's a good club too. I really like Front Knock. Um, but um, yeah, so I went and actually shot. Um, what else? Had some more meetings where she shoots. Um, we're going to be going out to the public. We're looking at actually. Uh, so I'm going to shill some stuff right now. So she shoots his also. Yeah, you go. <laughs> We're looking for sponsorship. So if you hear um if you hear us on Slamfire, um she shoots is looking for just sponsors for our, our podcast itself. Um right. so yeah, we're gonna be coming out with that. So you know, you can always contact me here at uh, Slamfire Radio at gmail.com. Um some other things happening. No, just some discussions about maple seeds in the upcoming year and figuring out some some stuff with that and I think that's it for shooting. I, w- I listened to the match last week. I, or sorry, not match. Uh, I listened to the podcast last week. It's a really good podcast. It's great to hear um, a lot of people making comments about Trevor being back on. It's really good to hear his um, his take on uh, bow hunting um, and broadheads. And it was a really good discussion. I really enjoyed it. Um, yeah. So. Cool. That's about it, I guess. Very cool. Yeah. So why don't we get into uh, upcoming events? So upcoming events, there are none. It's cold as um, Adriel likes to say, but somebody's Edmonton crazy. Oh, that's news. (laughs) (laughs) 
Somebody's typing. I didn't have time channels. to put the article in, so I just I just throw okay. like random thoughts in into the news. <laughs> random thoughts. Okay. So he, you're typing as we're getting into the news because there's no events that we're going to be talking about other than Shot Show, and we have somebody on the ground and and posting daily about thoughts. So why don't we talk about what's in the news? You said Edmonton crazy dude. So oh yeah. a little bit more info about that. Could you elaborate yeah. on Edmonton crazy dude? Uh, do I need to? <laughs> Yeah, Which some one? guy uh, yeah. tried shooting up City Hall and had a Molotov cocktail, and it looks like an SKS. Yes. Um, didn't shoot anyone. Shot shot some shots off. Looks like he got a jam on the SKS and uh, was tackled by a security person. Excellent. Kind. All right. Not excellent, but didn't make you know, anywhere. there may be repercussions with that. He had a manifesto on Twitter. I watched it. Oh, it wasn't very good. It wasn't very good. It was yeah. it, like meandered really badly. It was like talking about, we got to make sure we do this and this. And it was all like super tame, not very crazy at all. And uh, I don't know. He tried to cover too many bases. It like, if Ted Kaczynski is like a 10, like the consequences of the industrial revolution, I'd put this at like a three in terms of like, oh. not very good. Three. Pretty you boring. Want to rank pretty, pretty boring. You rank his manifesto a three. Okay. <laughs> a got three it. out of, uh, 10, 10 being like Kaczynski yeah, yeah. Unabomber. That's a, that's a poor manifesto. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly's <laughs> loving my, my critique of the, the manifesto. No, 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 that's... I can no, joke no, about no. it. No one died. True. I can no, joke about no, it. No, you can't, you can't use this manifesto. This is terrible. He needs something much better. Okay, but... I mean, even, if there, even if people died, it's... Guy's an asshole about. if he's using an SKS. He's just coming back. Anyways. It was it had a chopped stock on it, and it jammed right oh. away. He was running, oh, like, well, Tapco he mag. That, then. Tapco, like, stick mag out of it. It jammed right away, and he... So he fired, like, six times, and he had to dump it. And, yeah. Oh, I'm glad nobody got hurt. Really Maybe he has a license. Maybe not. The news oh, reports God. are all over the place, because one of them was... Uh, they're all reporting that he's getting charged with uh, possession of a firearm without uh, uh, the appropriate license. But some of them are saying a prohibited or restricted firearm with a license. SKS. And some of them are saying, a, well, it could be. A, so if you chop the stock it, on it or if you run it with a 30 sure. round mag, then it may be a prohibited firearm. Because that charge does include if it has the prohibited mag on it. Mm. So maybe. Okay, maybe. let's see what happens. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Any other news that we want to talk about? I didn't hear anything. No crazy dudes out there or anything no like crazy that. crazy dudes yeah. other than the crazy yeah. dude in Edmonton. Well, we're getting through this quite quickly. So the new gun stuff is brought to you by Bullseye North. Uh, need a new boom boomstick. Need a new boomstick. Bullseye North is Canada's shooting superstore and a proud sponsor of the CCFR with a wide selection of guns and top trending gear for any shooter. I can verify that. I was there a little bit ago. Uh, free shipping on orders $250 or more. Uh, some exclusions apply. Uh, they now have a $17 flat rate shipping for orders below $250. Subscribe to the weekly newsletter and get the first access to the hottest deals. They do have regular hot, hot, hot deals. Mm. And they have some really great people working in the store as well. So, uh, why don't we talk about what Bullseye has? So, you looked at the AFC products, LAR 15 magazines for $29.99. Really? For a 10 rounder. They got them, the metal ones. $29. Nice. Hmm. Uh, did you see the CCI uppercut? No. It's a 22 round. Yeah. And you're like, big deal. That's not like, who cares, right? Wait, show yeah. the bullet. Show the bullet. Oh, it's for it's for handguns, right? Yeah. Weird. Okay. Whatever. That isn't a copper coated lead bullet. That is a jacketed hollow point bullet in yeah. a 22. So I don't know how they do the bottom bit because it's like a 22 bullets healed. It needs to like go down and then go into the case. I don't know how they did that bit, but um, it's a jacketed hollow point. And it's optimized for a two and a half to four inch barrel, aka a handgun. So this is 22 LR defensive ammunition. <laughs> oh. I can see where that would be useful. Well, it's just funny to me. It's it's funny. I that, can that, see where it can be useful. Yeah, it's, yeah. 22s are deadly. Like a 22 handgun I, is a, is a is a deadly firearm. They have no recoil, so you could crank out with it. And if you're 
recoil sensitive or if you need like a low slide uh like pullback i don't know what that weight is the weight of the pullback what do you call it that on a pistol i don't know anyways yeah 22 handgun maybe what are you thinking kelly where's your mind going with this uh you don't want to know <laughs> okay okay all right i don't want to know okay move along um, <laughs> moving along uh anyways that's gonna be a thing that's weird uh, and this other one, the Rhineland FG9 has been approved by the RCMP and you're like, wow, that's cool. But, uh, what is that thing? Okay. Well, Rhineland FG9, it is a, uh, oh, which one is this? The FG42 lookalike, right? But in nine millimeter. So it looks like one of them German World War II rifles, oh. that one with the stick mag that goes in the side. And it's got like the really awkward angle pistol grip on it. Yeah. That one. But in nine millimeter. Huh. Right land. That's where you I wonder what that's gonna cost. Oh, look at that. Nine fifteen. Okay, US by the time it gets here, maybe fifteen hundred bucks. Well, twenty five hundred. That bad. It takes Glock mags. New yeah. for twenty twenty four. It's been redesigned to take Glock nineteen mags. Hey. Mm. Hmm. Don't huh. tell me you're you're no, but like our PCCs are like a thousand bucks, right? So this is a a, a gimmicky PCC for fifteen hundred. I, I like the price point. I think the price point's appropriate. Um, these were all the things that got announced before Shot Show. All the stuff that's been announced since Shot Show started, I'm not going to cover until next week because yep. Kyle's going to be on. He's he's handled some of this stuff. Yeah. Um, I think the moral of the story for for this year's uh, Shot Show is is lever action, though. Yeah. Yeah, because there's lots of that kind of stuff, but. We'll talk about that more next week. Excellent. 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 Okay. Um, <clears throat> show, show coverage for next week. You are already making a list, it looks like. So we're going to co- talk about those specifically next week already. Or no. Yes. Just I'm following along, obviously. Even senior citizens in the U.S. need a self-defense okay. option. Yeah, I guess 22 <laughs> would do that. I don't think they were talking about you specifically, but... Uh, me? Or me? What? No, no, I'm the senior citizen of the group. Uh, no, you're not. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, shot show coverage for next week. Wait for next week, it says in here. It's not in italics, uh, but we're making a list. <laughs> Jeez. You're breaking <laughs> Kelly's brain, Angel. Stop. Shouldn't yeah. even be in there. It, it, she just reads. It's a teleprompter. <laughs> Hello. So we don't have anything else uh, for what's new in guns or gun gun stuff this week. So drop by Bullseye again. Mm. Great company. Go and order stuff. Seventeen dollars flat rate. It's under two hundred fifty dollars. If you're spending under two hundred fifty dollars, you're not trying hard enough. <laughs> it's pretty easy to get there. It's pretty easy to do. Uh, yeah, believe me. Um, okay, we don't have a main topic for tonight. We just thought we'd come on um, and uh, just uh, say hi to everybody. Uh, see if Kyle can come on and say hello to everybody as well. Give you an update for next week. So we will be doing a shot show next week, obviously. Uh, but check out the videos. Uh, anybody else have anything else before we get to listener feedback? Yeah, Kyle will be posting videos to the Slamfire YouTube channel. We've got one up uh, that's got a couple of different interviews in it. And then uh yeah, they'll talk with us next week and we'll kind of review some of the stuff. Some of the stuff it gets released and takes a minute to understand like whether it's important for us or not here in Canada or even in the US. Yeah. Because sometimes the announcements are you need to look at the price, you need to look at the features on it and like kind of reestablish where it fits in the market and whether it's important or not. Mm-hmm. And some of the stuff is prototype too. So sometimes it's like, oh, these guys released a this. Nah, they showed a prototype, which they may or may not do anything of. Yeah. 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 Just depends. Depends on things. I'm I'm kind of wondering what's going to be happening here in Canada. What will we be able to get? What will we approve? I don't know. Oh, these were supposed to be under here. Sorry. Just disregard my talking to myself. As you're deleting things, because again, I read by teleprompter, right? And you're just taking everything away. Don't worry. <laughs> What's your feedback? Why don't we get into Facebook? I know that we had a couple of comments that have happened while we've been talking. Um, yeah, Mike was saying that that PSA MP7 clone looked pretty cool. Uh, was that so? PSA had 
a list of things and they're like, what do you think we should build? Then it was like four or five prototypes or something like that. And they wanted people to vote on it. So that was kind of interesting. That is interesting. Yeah. Asking if uh, due to Gaston's passing, Glock would be making a rifle or carbine. I don't know. That'd be cool. Hmm. I mean, they're going to make a rifle or carbine that their actual mags will fit in. That's the, there's the propriety. I don't know. I would love something like the PC carbine, but not take down built to just be a PCC and just built to be like a durable, fast shooting PCC. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe yeah. even use a Glock 17 and just make a longer barrel and a stock on it. That'd be interesting. All That'd plastic. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Plastic, plastic, plastic. Mm-hmm. I love Max, plastic. Max uh, saying, please <laughs> tell me you got to see the Daniel Defense or Hudson pistol. We'll have to wait till next week to see that. Yeah. Stay tuned. Um, and Chris Campbell says Rooster's made its own bed. <clears throat> Indeed. I forgot ammo in my backpack before, but this is like 15 years ago. and I got through every airport and back. (laughs) I says nothing but, uh, sorry, go ahead, Kelly. I was going to say that I've flown with, um, with, uh, spent shell casings in my pockets. I didn't know it. It did set off. I I went to secondary at the Winnipeg airport. So it was still in Canada. So I can't imagine flying across you know, into the States and doing that. I had a, had a couple rounds of nine mil in one of my backpacks and I got through. Oh, both ways. <laughs> it was an accident. I didn't do it on purpose. When I got home, I'm like, <gasps> Oh, well, <laughs> it's, it's over now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I guess it's not going to be an issue. I think uh, we've, uh, I think we've talked about everything else. Yeah. I think we've right. got all the rest on Facebook. Okay. Thanks for the comments. So why don't we get into emails? Um, Mo, why don't you read the first one from Tom B? Uh, From Tom B. Good afternoon. Received my decals today. Thank you very much. As soon as I can warm up my truck, they will be proudly displayed and one extra to share with a like-minded individual. I hope that there are enough of us to make a change. Thank you again. Keep up the awesome work. So he's talking about the decals that uh, uh, have, uh, there's a few people that, I sent them out too that uh, sent us in emails or Facebook messages, uh, whatever, however method that you've asked for it. So it's the F Trudeau um, decal. So if you are interested, I've got about a hundred of them. I've been giving them away to a lot of different people and I'll send you not one, but I'll send you a couple. So yeah. if you'd like a decal, uh, just send us an email at slamfireradio at gmail.com or you can message us as well and do it on Facebook. Oh, that's what the like F this? stands for. Oh, okay. F. We can, oh. we can say the word if we want. I thought to. it was for like forgive or something. I do you got this one too? For, forgive. <laughs> it's a joke. <laughs> what are you talking oh, about? Oh, wow. Look at that. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> Which one? It's on my bin. <laughs> it says, give me your guns. Yeah, that's a classic. <laughs> Yeah, I don't have that one. The Trudeau. <laughs> no. I'm carrying them around with me at work, too, so I'm giving it to people that I know. <laughs> good. That's good. Yeah. Okay. Um, Mark, why don't you read the one that's from Mark there, um, Adriel? Mark? Uh, the PWS UXR piston gun looks interesting, although will not likely make it up here in time for C21 implementation. Yeah. I mean true but what if they just delay it a couple years and then the c21 gets undone and then they get to apply Uh Mm uh-huh i think that's why people also want our pals if c21 can get undone then they can go buy a pistol and be ready oh as soon as c21 gets undone i do all our pals all the time or all pals all the time Mm -hmm. why do we have this last one that's in here oh it's not really a it's not really a thing to read but just no. like you ever sent us a video blowing lungs on the side of a bear with an arrow. <laughs> well, he did tell us he was going to send it to us, but and he did. I don't, he followed I don't through. Think, yeah. I don't think that we're publishing it on our we on can't, air. We can't anything. publish that. No. So, anyways, <laughs> it just got put in there. So, okay. Well, thanks, Trevor. Here it worked. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, Adriel, why don't you actually cover the YouTube live that we? YouTube. Yeah, I can do that. Uh, I had a window open for it. And oh, there it is. I still have a window open for it. Good. On Shot Show Day 1, Jix6 commented Mohawk Rocks. 
CCFR TV says, well done, guys. Uh, Eddie, on the last episode. Uh, no, this is listener feedback from 2023, episode 539. A couple of episodes back. Mo, you should have marked your mag loader with a light colored marker. Then it'll be harder for others to make stake it as theirs. Mm-hmm. No issues now, because now you got a real weird looking one. Nobody's uh, still Regarding Tony's comment about uh, hazards of casting, I used to cast to make competition pistol bullets for accuracy, NRA conventional pistol, aka bullseye shooting. Mm-hmm. I would have a fan to push away the fumes. My lead levels at last check were fine. Yeah, I think as long as you got that wind, it's just you don't want to be breathing in the lead that's uh, that's gassing off there. Most people will do it outside as well, or in the garage with the door with the garage door open, so that there's fan. some ventilation, some type of yeah. ventilation. Yeah, you got to get it away from you. Yeah. Uh, Eddie also says Susan is seven time world champion. Definitely bring her and Not the just. She shoots crew onto the show. Yeah. Uh, this I is thought that was tr- a really good idea. Yeah. On episode 540, Trevor went from having a gun room with guns in the background to having a broom and a dustpan behind him. <laughs> that is the definition <laughs> of smart in this day and age. Don't show people your stuff on social media. Adriel. Adriel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not possible. Yeah. Uh, also from Illegal Canadian, hearing Trevor's voice again was nice. Tony yeah. mentions, uh, got a game. I think that's part of the fun. Not everyone appreciates that, but I do appreciate a smarty. As Trevor explained previously, shooting indoors equals high lead exposure, so shoot outdoors. And that's all from last week. I actually had my lead tested uh, recently, but I don't have the results back yet, so I'm just I'd be interested to see yours because you do you do a significant amount of shooting. True. I do a little bit of everything. Yeah. I presided over. Okay. How many I did Oh, uh, I did 12 maple seeds last year. Yeah. Let's just Let's ballpark how many rounds of 22 LR I presided over. Presided? Uh, let's say 12 events times uh, 12 participants on average times 215, 31,000 rounds. 31,000 yeah. rounds. In I don't, want, I don't want to know how many of I have. So that's why, like, Kyle was just on and we were talking about, you know, it being cold and not shooting. I, I don't care how cold it is. I'd prefer to shoot outside. If yes. ha- if we have to, if there's a match mm-hmm. going on or whatever, and it's indoors, I'll do it indoors. But my preference is outside. Speaking Absolutely. of indoors, that's also what I forgot to talk about in what I did in Guns this week. So uh, Patrick Patrick Groa is uh, going to be doing a match at the end of this month. Sorry, end of February, and I'm going to help at it. So I'll show nice. you and help at it. So it's an indoor Ipsic match, but. Good. I'll be helping. It. I'll be helping. It. Help. I can't talk tonight. Helping. Helping. I'm just tired. So um, I'll be helping at it and shooting it. Good. Yeah. So probably is a good idea. I go this weekend and shoot something because again, yeah. last Sunday I I went. What the hell am I supposed to do? Oh yeah, gun goes that way. <laughs> <laughs> but it was fun. Really, a lot of fun. Oh, to make ready. Shooter. Oh, there we go. I got it. What? Uh, point two four micro mole, and the the reference range is zero to point four nine. So I'm within normal range. Good. You're normal. You're sort of, you can say, "Look at this. I'm normal. I'm normal. I've been tested." <laughs> oh, in adults, a blood level of above 0.24 is considered elevated. So I'm. Oh, you're <laughs> you're high normal. <laughs> okay. No, nah, it's just it's just elevated. It's not even elevated. I'm right on the level. Um, um, <clears throat> Yeah, and that's according to, I don't know, some other website I looked up. According to the Alberta one, anything up to 0.49 is fine. According to this one, anything up to 0.24 is fine. I believe okay. I am fine. I'll keep an eye on it. You really should. It's important. Just Greater than thinking. 45 is need of treatment. Hmm. Okay. I'm good. How get, I'm fine. How do, you, how do you get greater than 45? Uh, eat the chew on the lead like Carly, like chew on the 22 yeah. rounds like crayons. Yeah, <laughs> that'll do it. Make sandwiches indoor, yeah. never have it. Mm-hmm. cast lead inside a small room enclosed. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. all right. 
I think that's uh, I think that's about it for all the love that we had last week. So, uh, yeah, why don't we uh, get on to actually uh, paying homage to our Patreon and our player supporters? We want to say thank you to that. If you'd like to support the show, you can go over to Patreon and um, give us um, some cash if you'd like, or go over to Play Your. Um, you can also actually help with the show there. Uh, if you do have any emails that you'd like to send uh, that we possibly couldn't put on our show or discuss even, <laughs> send us a slamfire radio at gmail.com. I'm talking about the bear video. So, all right, let's get into shout outs. Adriel, do you got any? Uh, no. That's a no. All right. I forget. Mo? I don't have any either. Hmm. I'd like to give Kyle a shout out for making uh, the effort to come on tonight and talking about coming yeah. on next week and giving us an update. I'd also like to give a shout out to the King Kids for shooting with me last week. It was lots and lots of fun. And also Jason too, who for coming out and trying it out. It was interesting. It was interesting. Somebody who is a, a really, really, and I mean a really good uh, ski shooter um, and, you know, Doing pistol and it's like it's not intuitive at all if you're a really good shooter in a different discipline right yeah so all right uh anyways let's sign off and say good night for tonight and uh as i said it was short and sweet tonight so uh go join us on discord we do have um uh, we're, we're on the discord server there Chat with us, or actually chat with Adriel and Kyle, because Mo and I don't do Discord at all. <laughs> Let's be real. Um, watch us on Facebook. Uh, watch us on YouTube. Go and join Play Your, and then also go join the CCFR. And we'll see everybody next week about Shot Show. Later. Bye. Bye, everybody. So if you have any comments or questions for the show, please send an email to slamfireradio at gmail.com. Now go grab a gun and shoot something. When the talking is over, it's time to get a gun.